Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Scott Taransky from the National Center for Biblical Parenting. Joanne Miller and I are known on the web and in our uh, speaking ministry for bringing a practical and biblical approach to help children make significant changes in their lives. And we believe parents are the primary trainers of their children. So uh, I'm grateful to be with you. I'm glad that we could spend some time just connecting. And uh, today in particular, I want to um, draw attention to gratefulness in children. Uh, I was interacting in thrivingkidsconnection.com. You'll want to jot that down, thrivingkidsconnection.com. That's our uh, online forum where uh, I work with my coaches and train them. And then also we've got parents in there presenting challenges. We talked about this question this week about gratefulness in children. How do we build that? Because we know it's not just good enough to focus on behavior. We've got to work on the heart. It's not good enough to just have your child say thank you. You've got to work deeper and it's got to be a heart change, something that's going on deeper inside of a child's life. So uh, Lisa Brown, one of the coaches, um, started sharing some ideas. She compared uh, thankfulness to a cup of coffee. So that got my mind uh, ringing and uh, I, I, I created a blog post. You want to check out the blog post at thrivingkidsconnection.com. There are lots of blog posts there, but the most recent one that we did was on this thankfulness. Um, she compares thankfulness to a cup of coffee. She talks about her own personal uh, challenge because her foot's hurting right now. I hope, Lisa, you're doing better now with that uh, that foot. And, and But she's using it as an opportunity to teach her children more about thankfulness. Also down in that article, we took other ideas that people shared. We put them down there about activities you can do to build thankfulness. But I want to talk to you specifically about the heart quality of gratefulness or thankfulness because uh, Thanksgiving is not an event, according to God's word. It is a lifestyle. First Thessalonians, uh, First Thessalonians 5.18 talks about give thanks always. And it, so it becomes this lifestyle that we have that children need to develop. Now, in order for kids to develop um, thankfulness, they've got to do some things. They've got to make some changes, some tendencies. Let me uh, explain to you how you'll know if your child is um, in need of some more work in this area of thankfulness or gratefulness. They'll have a tendency to be self-focused. Uh, a self-focused tendency has children looking at themselves. They start thinking about themselves. They, they're only concerned about what they're getting or what they want. And, and that selfishness is a problem. And when a child is focused on themselves a lot, one of God's solutions to overcome that is thankfulness. They need to build that as a pattern in their lives. One mom told me this example. She said, my son was out four-wheeling and he, uh, you know, he's 13 years old in the backyard. He's four-wheeling and he hit a tree, broke his leg. And now he's on the couch. Here's a boy who had all kinds of problems with anger episodes and he was getting upset continually before that. Now he's lying on the couch with his foot in a cast and he's developing quite a bit of demandingness. So this demandingness that she's seeing, you know, get me this, I want some food, I want a drink, I bring you my toy, and so on. And she realizes that this is one of those times when children can become so self-focused because they feel like they're a victim and everybody owes me something. When you see that children are being entitled, either because of sickness or because of some other thing that's going on in their lives, then you know Here's a child who needs thankfulness. They need to start changing the tendencies. It's God's solution for overcoming some of the demandingness that our children experience. Another time when children become self-focused tends to be around holidays, where they start to believe that um, other people are designed for my pleasure and my happiness and, and what other gift are you going to give me or how are you going to make me happy? Children develop expectations about holidays sometimes that get them into trouble, so they develop this negativism or this demandingness or this controlling. That's when they need gratefulness. So this is a really important quality that all children need. They've got to develop um, this ability to be grateful inside. And gratefulness is a target. That's where we're moving. A child who's so focused needs to move toward this target of being more grateful in their lives. We've got to change the tendency. 
I would suggest we could define that target. Gratefulness is something like this. We could say that gratefulness is uh, giving credit to God and others for the good things that I'm finding in my life or the things that I've been able to accomplish. It's because of God and other people that I'm able to do any of those things. That's what gratefulness is. And gratefulness just changes our hearts. It, it gives us this ability to understand. So I really like Lisa's example in the blog post on thrivingkidsconnection.com where uh, so I took her testimony and I wove a blog around that testimony where she says, look, I'm laid up, my, my foot's hurting and I wanna be an example to my children about gratefulness. I do think one of the ways that we can touch children on a heart level with gratefulness is to embody that in our own hearts. We can model it, and so she's taking what is a difficult experience in her time with her kids and her own personal life and teaching her kids how gratefulness can give you a better disposition about life. But it really does something inside of your heart. You know, in the scriptures, God uses uh, thankfulness as a solution for anxiety. Did you know that? In, when he, in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 8, where it says, Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, make your request known to God. This idea of thanksgiving is just so powerful. We tend to be so focused, and when we do, we miss out on what God would have for us. And we miss out on the, the blessings that exist all around us. So only one guy comes back to Jesus and says, thank you, after he heals 10 lepers. One guy has that ability to come back and, and make those uh, that changes. I, I just think it's so strategic for us to help children. So what are you going to do to help your children develop thankfulness at this season? See, I think we have a great opportunity in the next few days around Thanksgiving. Now, you could do this any time in your family life. Because Thanksgiving's a lifestyle, not an event. So, but you have an opportunity now with Thanksgiving approaching to use the event of Thanksgiving to be this opportunity to um, create a window. That's what you're looking for. You want a window into your child's heart that gets them thinking differently about life, how they can contribute, how they can be grateful, how could they can acknowledge the good that others and God are doing inside of their lives. How are you going to do that? Well, I would suggest you're going to might do it through significant conversations where you might just talk about the value of gratefulness or you might choose an activity. We gave a list of activities on the blog post at thrivingkidsconnection.com and uh, the blog post is entitled Thankfulness is Like a Cup of Coffee. Uh, the reason we titled that is because that's what Lisa, you know, she starts her testimony that way. But at the bottom, there's this list of things we gathered at thrivingkidsconnection.com for um, suggestions of how we're going to address thankfulness activities you can do. My favorite one, for example, is a Thanksgiving jar. Now, this can be done at any time, but what you do is you just sit around and you intentionally write down your things you're thankful for. And you put them in the jar. Not just general things. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for help, for, for health. Uh, but specifically, I'm thankful that God did this in my life this week. I'm thankful that my mother helped me with this. I'm thankful for my child's uh, assistance in this particular thing. So thankfulness is very specific. And when we start tying it specifically, then good things can happen in that regard. So now what we do is we put them in the jar. Now the jar we get out next week or next month or three months from now, we pull the things out that are in there and we go over them. Why? Because it reminds us of what God has done. We have a tendency to forget. We have a tendency to be self-focused. We all do. That's just part of, of the sin nature. It drives us to, to think about ourselves and not about other people. Thankfulness is one of God's tools that gets us out of that. So yes, we teach our preschoolers to say thank you when, they, um, when, when they're learning to be grateful. I, I think that's good. We teach them to be thankful, but it's much bigger than that. It's a heart quality, and that means practice. It means working on the, the uh, tendencies that a child has to start um, opening those windows in child's heart so that we can do this. And it's going to require some firmness. I think sometimes children need to be sent on a mission. Maybe the mission is every hour when my phone beeps, come and see me. I'm going to call you when my phone beeps and I want you to go and uh, think of something you're grateful for. And I want you to tell that person or tell God and report back to me. 
because it's a lifestyle. Children need to develop that. When they do, it helps them overcome some of that selfishness, some of that control. What we're trying to help children do is see more than themselves. God's tool for that is gratefulness. Uh, it's just a way that we participate in what God wants to do and to recognize that we are not the center of the universe, that God is the center of the universe, and that he uses all these kinds of things to help us to grow and develop. Think about the heart. Think about strategy. If you want more uh, ideas, practical ideas for Thanksgiving, or you want to read the article about Lisa and uh, the coffee illustration, then go to the website, thrivingkidsconnection.com, read the blog post, make some comments there, interact. Maybe you'll suggest some other ideas of how you are building thankfulness in your ch children, or you're using Thanksgiving as a tool to build windows into their hearts. Jot those down. We'll all benefit from the suggestions that we grow uh, in together. We need to think strategy when we work with our children because that's what God does with us. He's moving us on a path. He's moving us on a path called sanctification. And we can do the similar thing as we model parenting with our children to help them grow in this very important area of gratefulness in their hearts. So take a look at those things. Visit the website. And if we can help you some more, let us know at thrivingkidsconnection.com.